My name is Empire and I have two murals currently exhibiting at the Station Museum of Contemporary Art. I was watching a lot of videos about the border and all the stuff that's going on with the drug war. Being from Mexico and like traveling there and being stopped at the border by the military and the setas, you come to experience everything that's really going on at the border and the two murals are kind of like a cause and effect. So this one was more of like some of the reasons, not, not all the reasons, but some of the reasons why the things are going the way they are south of the border. I just try to incorporate the thing that represents our country, which is our flag. On the green side, it's all marijuana plants, and it's kind of like the basis of the drug trade along with cocaine, which is the center, the white stripe. Those are just some of the drugs, but the drug war is leading to a lot of violence at the border, leading to a lot of death and killing and kidnapping, and I just wanted to show that as the cause for a lot of people coming over here from across the border. and trying to find a better situation for their lives, trying to escape all the violence. When I was trying to paint this, I was watching a video of this woman that uh, lost her son or daughter. She was asking like, why isn't the whole country screaming? Well, like, why is everybody quiet about it? Why isn't nobody else yelling at the top of their lungs? How come nobody's doing anything about it, you know? And so that was like the main reason why the character's like screaming. And the mural is titled The Natural Migration of the Ill Eagle Alien. I wanted the whole mural to have a, a story. On one side, everybody's coming in, and on this side, everybody's going straight into jail. And the 43 sitting on top of all those bones and bodies doesn't represent the fact that I think the students are dead or anything like that. It represents all the violence that's going on in the border and all the deaths that have happened, and how the 43 are kind of like that precipice that made people like realize you know what this this needs to change whenever i met the parents of the 43 it really brought home for me at least the message of what's going on like south of the border you know all the violence and the killing and kidnapping and whenever i gave them a hug like i felt their pain one minute i'm here at the station museum painting these murals and i'm like thousands of miles away from the the subject that i'm painting but the minute that they walked in the door and gave me a hug and it just gave me chills and it was a great experience. I don't necessarily consider my work to be politically activated. Uh, I have certain pieces that I do, you know, like to speak out on and, you know, maybe I'm not out there protesting and stuff, but I'm doing the thing that I can do is just paint and I'm creating images that other people can use and be inspired by. I come from Mexico and I've experienced things that People that are over here on, in the U.S., they're ignoring the stuff that's going down at the border. And it's not the only problem that they're ignoring. And by participating in this show and bringing these pieces to light kind of brings like some of the attention that's not being focused on by like the major medias. And that was kind of my thought process was like, well, you know, if the news isn't really going to cover it, then we might as well find our own way to get it known.